Okay, so then let's get into the nitty-gritty of the actual fund. So you call it the Global Leaders Fund. Um, it's an interesting name. If one looks at the investable universe of global leading stocks, there's a lot of them. But this is a concentrated portfolio, right? Yes, yes. So we generally will have between 20 to 30 stocks within our portfolio. Um, because we do have a team of analysts, we have a lot of time to spend on each individual stock. So when we make a bet, we want it to be sizable. Um, we also want to be able to uh, have the correct maintenance on, in terms of the stocks we cover, make sure we've got a good handle on pricing, where they're going, and just continuously reviewing the investment case. So because we have the capacity to do that, it's much better to run port uh, concentrated portfolios. Okay, but now let me take you back a step. You went in the intro, you mentioned various sectors. So do you look, is that your top-down approach in terms of your sector approach, your sector allocation, and then you pick one or two stocks within those sectors? Is, is that how the, the sort of the, the population of the fund looks? So we have both um, a top-down macro approach and then a bottom-up fundamental um, analysis approach. So what we will do is basically our macro team, so we have another macro team, a macro forum, who will set the scene in terms of where we're going globally, what global growth will be, where the growth will be coming from, where interest rates are going. And then with that information, what we will do is research our individual stocks and find out what stocks we want to be in taking into account that macro view. So for instance, interest rates coming down at the moment, we probably won't have a big weighting towards a sector such as financials. Okay, but interest rates coming down will be more conducive to your, your consumer space. But then of course we have to take valuation into account. So often in these sort of environments, it will be quite difficult to find a reasonably priced consumer company.